And uh, I could tell, but he would also say it. You know, he'd call me these names, and they were just... What kind of just names? Just stuff you shouldn't say to a, a kid, like... Stupid or mm -hmm. faggot. Or, okay. And so then you're always trying to impress him or to not make him mad. And my mom, would, she would do it too. They would gang up on me. Like, if I said I was scared of the closet, they'd lock me in the closet until I stopped screaming. And I mean, they were laughing, so I knew I wasn't going to die. But still, it was just like, why would you do that? Or uh, the basement. They'd lock you in the basement? Yeah, because I was scared of it. It was to toughen me up. And how long? Just all afternoon or until I stopped crying. And my mom would do it too, but it was mostly my dad. That's awful. So anyways, when, when you know your dad thinks you're weak or uh, I don't know, too scared or something like, like not tough enough. And well, then you start to think, well, I guess I'm not tough enough, and he's always mad at you. Like then, the times that he's not, and the times when he takes you upstairs and says, uh, you know, let's take a shower, and he was, well, at first he was, uh, like he was finally nice, mm -hmm. you know? Like to see that side of him where he was, um. Tender. Yeah. Because it was then, it was like he could, like he could stop being mad when no one else was there. But around everyone else, and even when family was over, he would just call you those names or he would hit you and everyone would, everyone saw it. But when it was just you and him, that's, that's when he would, um. What? That's when he'd tell me that he loved me. When he was abusing you? Yeah. It wasn't, it, it was just the massages at first, like with oil or he would have his shirt off and I'd just be in my shorts or something and it was, what? all the other stuff hadn't started yet. And then so it was just like time being with my dad where I felt like he cared about me and, uh, it was just me and him, and that was good. Like, those were my favorite memories. Mm hmm And then the massages changed. <sighs> yes. <clears throat> he would say, uh, turn over, and uh, he'd do my front. And by front? He'd massage my penis. Okay. And so we'd fondle each other. But it's, it, it still wasn't, uh, what? like, it, it wasn't scary yet, what we were doing. Mm -hmm. Except I think I didn't want to. Like, I would try not to do it. Different part? Yeah, because, you know, he'd be lying on his back, and I'd try to skip that part. And he'd say, no, you have to do that. And uh, just then the mouth massages as I got older and like Lyle said with the objects and the toothbrush and how old uh definitely second grade because the toothbrush because mm -hmm. I, I remember the day at school afterwards there was a picture of a toothbrush on the bulletin board or whatever just about like how you should go to the dentist and um I remember thinking that the toothbrush in the picture wouldn't have hurt as much <sighs> uh who and abused so your father of, of is sex. what I want to know. There was nice, which was the... Unbelievable. Um, well, the massages... God help these boys. Then when he started making me use my mouth 